Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave back. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we are back with Reacher. Yes. Oh. We're on the last oh. episode too. We are. But things have been getting heated. Yeah. Uh, Reacher went into the lion's den. He did. Um, and uh, what could be a very stupid plan, but it's yeah. gonna work. When two of his two of his people are taken. Yep. We also don't know about Swan where he is exactly, though he should be good. Yeah. Um, and then AM, I think, is still on his way. He got his truck, and they're heading to here, too. So yep. I don't know how everything's going to play out. There's some kind of plan involving those, may not involving maybe, but like the kids who were like drinking and driving or whatever. Yeah, they were uh, being general nuisance. Yeah, and it invoked some sort of idea or plan for Reacher on top of what he's already doing. But yeah. all he really has is Neely, but he called the senator for and, some like ranger he, seals yeah. or something, right? Yeah. He's got some Ranger Seal guys coming that are going to help. Just expendable hands that they can use, yeah, probably. Yeah, true. Those guys, I don't know who they are, so they can die, and I won't be like, oh, no. But yeah. I don't want Neely to die, and I don't want Reacher to die. And I don't necessarily want, like, Dixon or, or uh, O'Donnell to die, but I still am like, is one of I'm them bad? I'm suspect of Dixon. And, and, and I, hope, I hope hope they're not. I hope, I hope they're Swan's not. I hope not, and we just beat the bad guys. Yeah. We're good. And everyone win. goes happy home. But someone could die. All right. Are you going to strap him on one of them tables, too? <laughs> You're going to need a bigger table. Yeah, all right. Two of them. Two of them side by side. Twin. <laughs> the surveillance photos don't do you justice. <laughs> You're a big son of a bitch. <laughs> You're gonna make a hell of a hole when you hit the ground. Are you? Is that their plan? Really? They're gonna take them? Just drop them? No. That's a. I that's think a stupid, that's a bad idea. You better off just shooting them here. Stupid thing to do. You know. Get him ready. Yeah. What did you find out? Oh, they got him. They got him one. No. Make me. <laughs> No. Dude. You weren't in charge. Oh! <laughs> Dude, he caught his foot with his hands behind his back. Like, the only reason why they're not shooting you is because they want to do their stupid helicopter thing. Mm hmm. Oh. Or. Where is she? Put the gun down. We both know you can't shoot me till you find her. She's your last loose end. Right. Uh oh. I can't shoot you. Uh oh. No. No. His leg at okay. least. Okay. I don't want to leave anything for ballistics. Dig that slug out of him. We got him right where we want him, boss. <laughs> ah! Ah! At least use a spoon or something that's not sharp. He's doing more damage. What? Two. One. Two. She get ready to pop pop. One. Two. Wow. I do that in video games. Just get the motion. One. To here. Yeah. Here. To here. It's like. Perimeter to guards neutralized. What's your ETA? Yep. I can replicate that. Three minutes right, out. Go. Go, go. Cover that. Three minutes out. Oh, he's punching? Well, that's okay, because now we use Swan to sign off on the paperwork. If anybody else comes poking around, it looks like he did the deal and took the money and ran, and I still end up with my toes in the sand and a bronze ass on my lap. But now that plan has gone to shit, too, because I got one of you fucking assholes running around out there. Where is she? Huh. You seem upset. He's actually He's taking damage from him. I offered to cut Swan in. Where is he? Yeah, buddy. He's here. You want to see him? I don't know if you want to see him, bro. I don't know if you want to see him. Is he still alive? Oh, man. His eye and his thumbprint. Yep. See, I didn't need all of it to frame him. That makes sense. 
This is fingerprint to get into the computer. Sign off on some documents. And his iris to scan when he logged in and out of certain parts of the building. Oh, man. You know, after I get my money, I may have some of my guys go by and find Neely's father, pick him up. That ought to flush you out of the woodwork. What do you think? I just really, really hate loose ends. Ah, oh, he's pinging his shoe. That makes sense. I'm telling you for the last time, get back in your car, get out of here before I kick your ass. Okay, boss, just let me finish my beer, okay? fuck is going on? Now! Before he hit the ground. Oh. And he's just gone. Well, yeah. <laughs> Dude, they don't know who he is, probably, huh? I don't know, they might. I don't know. They, they might, but... I wouldn't. Oh! Is that a pen? I don't know. Ooh, I like that. That is cool. I like that. Over there. Stay here. Come on, Neely. Don't let the helicopter take off, please. Jefferson Airplane? Why no Hendrix? I'm a swan. Hendrix is overrated. <laughs> what about the other guys? Fuck them! <laughs> for himself now, huh? Yeah. No honor among thieves. Nope. Two. Three. <laughs> you slap through glass. <laughs> I like how they push, I like, yeah, he's a big guy, but you know what? Oh my gosh, that vertical! He is slow. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> so what's your plan, to pull yourself up in a helicopter, hold on to it? Like, that's a terrible idea. Shit. Right? Climbing up on a wheel is gonna be nigh impossible. It's gonna roll. Oh my gosh. Plus, you're in that oh, fucking... back doors. Yeah, right? The vortex. Hey, the only good news he has is that they're gonna have to open this back door. The downdraft. No, yeah, you're right. Ladies first. It's your turn, Something. sweetheart. Oh, wait. Is he gonna catch the gurney? <laughs> Is he <just> gonna... <laughs> no way. He got it there real easy, didn't he? Fuck! <laughs> He's like, fuck! <laughs> as long as their wheels are locked. Uh oh! What the? Did it, shoot? it didn't shoot him, did it? No? They're not pressurized. The back door's open. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, Calvin, you said. <laughs> well, he's not hanging on by the chopper, though. Mm. Oh, fuck. It's better than your face. Yeah, I suppose. No, 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 no. Oh, there you go. Okay, there we go. There you go. This is what I wanted. <laughs> Dude, how strong? Do you have to be to be able to do this? That strong. Jesus Give her the knife Christ, in your forearm. Richard. Jesus Christ, Richard. Richard. Don't know when to quit. Oh. That ground's smooth, too. Yeah. Oh! Dude, with the knife? Yeah, grab the knife out. Or you can let the bitch fall, and I'll be merciful and toss you out after. He's even holding on it. Ah! Yes! Ah, that's what I wanted! Good job, Dixon. Jeez, man. Let go of that gurney, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Dude, they are so calm for being right there on the edge of, like, just... You better hold this thing steady, or we're gonna find out the hard way if I can land it. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait! Oh! He yeah. said he was gonna throw you out of a chuck. <laughs> oh my gosh. You assume that's the information I need, Langston? 
but in an investigation, assumptions kill. No! I'm gonna throw you out of helicopter too. <laughs> They're going to meet one of the New Age engineers at his home so he can teach the buyers how to put the Little Wing chips into the rockets. Look, I have the coordinates. Please, just don't kill me. Take us there. Yeah, I mean, that's where they were flying, right? To, for the buyer? Yep. That's where they needed oh, to head. Are we going to see him dead on the ground? I love it. You're going to make a very big hole. <laughs> <laughs> he would have. Yeah. Oh. oh. On a rock. He does this and he kills everybody here, right? Oh, we're already here, Calvin. They're already here. <sighs> oh! Surprise. Hey, Neely is here. Neely. Surprise. We'll give you one chance. <laughs> Tell us who you're selling the weapons to. Oh, I'm sorry, that would ruin my reputation and my business. Not that I would expect any of you to understand. I can see that you're idealists. Besides, your issues aren't with me. I don't fire the weapons. I'm the middleman. It's, it's just business. You think that makes it better? Yes, I do. Between the seller of the gun or the user, I prefer to be the seller. The base mindset that a person has to embrace to actually pull the trigger is no better than... <laughs> Ow! Fucking dark. I like it. I mean, he's a great guy. Yeah. Probably dead. Now, Connor, Interpol. Dude, everyone but Neely has got like wounds somewhere. Stabs, yeah. shots. Yeah, <laughs> she made out like, like a hero. Mm hmm. The money, they got the missiles. Dude, is it, is it over? Is that everything? Is there any loose ends for them to take care of? Get out of here. Both of you. Ah, oh, he's letting them go, huh? Yeah. No. Wow. We, we wouldn't, would we? Yeah, no, we would. There's no reason to, is there? We, we would. Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm on the bureau, Donald. Yeah. And yeah, that is that, is, that does look like a Carl Gustav launcher. Just wait till they're over the river. That's that ridge. Copy that. All right. I was like, man, they're just gonna let them go. Okay, not even arresting them or nothing. <laughs> I guess they don't arrest people, huh? No, not so much. <laughs> I think we're good, Neely. Find the hole. Oh, oh man! No, it's what this does. Yeah. I guess Little Wing works. Yeah. Lavoie's Rangers. Yeah. Sorry, but Senator the boy was here. clear. No one can ever know what really happened. Can't take the risk one of you might talk. I figured Lavoie was the kind of guy that would cover his ass. That's why I didn't just call Lavoie. I also called Omar Kareem in Homeland. Mm. I think that's him now. <laughs> you just <laughs> fucked what? up. But they showed up later than you thought that when they would have turned. What if they would have shot you when you thought they would have shot you? Now you might want to do the honors. Oh, you get to arrest boy too. Yeah. Is it done? Yes, just not the way you think. <laughs> Is it over? <laughs> Almost. There's just one last loose end that needs tying up. You've got the green light. Boy, hold back security. <laughs> They're just screaming his name. <laughs> got a senator who led through this. They got oh. Langston. They got one more a thing. Dealer. Where's the money? What money? Mm -hmm. I mean, that that bag is. There was no money. Yeah. 
right? That's what he said, like you can carry tons of dollars in, what was it, bearer bonds or whatever yeah. it was? Yeah, basically. Yeah, They're at a diner and <laughs> they're all fucking smashed up. Hey man, these guys had a rough night. The Ranger just has like a dish towel wrapped on his arm, it looks like. Yeah, whatever they could find in the house. Man, I love when the eggs are like that. What are we gonna do with 65 million simoleons? It's a lot of less. You gotta use it to make up for some of the pain it caused. That money's not gonna disappear, is it? I don't know why they focused on it. I don't know. Look at that 65 million, I'd be ca more careful with it, you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, to the families and stuff? Sure. How can you not know where it came from? You're the bank. It's millions of dollars earmarked for my kids. It can't be for my brother. He died recently. Aww. <laughs> That's nice. And I miss you. Take care of the spot. We got you. Send us a postcard. QS or bus? That was the one waitress at the one place? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The girlfriend? Yeah. The same memory of the what? Oh, for your brother. <laughs> hey, do we know someone named Swan? Or a dog named Maisie? I don't think so. Why? <laughs> to the animal shelter. <laughs> Mr. Neely, I'm Connie Bunbury from Chicago Home Health. I'm part of the team that's been hired to provide you round-the-clock medical care. Aww. I mean, it doesn't fix what they lost, but... That was my no. dad. Try, you know, help. What did you do? What about you, big dog? Yeah, What'd you get for anything. yourself? <clears throat> I need a new toothbrush. <laughs> oh my god, he's serious. Yeah, he's <laughs> fully serious. Yeah. <laughs> he's... You know, I thought you'd gone. I did. Got you a present. Toothbrush. Now you can actually get yourself something with the money. Mm -hmm. There's something else you can do. Name it. Come home with me. I really want you to meet my parents. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you bought yourself. A bus pass. That's a trailways pass. I can ride the bus anywhere in the country for a year. Sweet. That's $1,980 of freedom, Haley. That's pretty cool. You refer to these special investigators as your team, your soldiers, even your friends. But you know we're more than that, right? <clears throat> the family he has left kind of thing. Yeah. That's how I take it. <clears throat> Where are you coming from? Right here. Doing what? Visiting family. <laughs> so where are you headed? No idea. Did he? Dude, yeah, right. I'm. There, I mean, there's some, there's some silly craziness, but it's also fun with like. Yeah. I'm like, how is he holding her out of the back of this helicopter that's flying? 
But I'm like, he's not holding on to anything else either, you know? It's not like he's yeah. like, ah, he's just hanging there. Like, yeah. It's just, but I have a lot of fun with it too. Like, no, definitely. It's, it's, one, it's been a blast. It's one of those things where it's like, don't take some of it too seriously, right? Yeah. It's like everything has a little bit of like just superhuman supernatural ability in it. Some, yeah, some of it has and, a little bit of that, like especially with Reacher. Yeah. I feel like mainly with him. But they reference it all the time. Yeah. They they reference like man you're a big you're a big guy or man you're strong or you run too slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which which is funny too cuz like when he has to hustle like he's a bigger guy. I don't know that he can hustle that fast. Yeah. But he's moving especially a lot, in this episode. A lot of weight. I don't have enough bullets to cover your slow ass, you know? Like they they reference that and I'm I'm glad they do it too. But uh no, I mean I liked a lot of the stuff up to Langston and everything. It, I don't know if I feel like it got real dark with the helicopter shooting down aspect of it or yeah, what. Yeah, it did. But it, it did seem extra dark. Like, I feel like you could have let Homeland take them, maybe, yeah, you know? I don't know probably. why not. Like, like you didn't shoot the uh, Ranger SEAL team that showed up, right? Yeah. I assume they're getting arrested and Lavoie's getting arrested, and maybe you could have used witnesses? or I, I don't know. Sure. I don't like, know. Is, that, is that going to come up during questioning or mm. during like there, there might be an aspect too of like they have the they're, they're using that excuse of like oh man I'm just an engineer I was just doing my job sure I don't deal with terrorists or doing this or that and it's like well you were aware you knew what was going on sure none of them did like Marlo where like she's like this is getting too much I'm leaving I'm getting out of this right yeah like I feel like that's a difference there where she wasn't just turning a blind eye to it she and her she kid, was trying to stop it yeah she she she's the one who got swan in on it right yeah. and then when things started turning she started deciding like i, I don't want to stay here i'm leaving i'm running and i'm leaving the money they tried to pay me to be yeah. hush money i don't even want that i don't want to be a part of this i want out <laughs> whereas these guys was like oh, i just i just fly the helicopter man it's like they throw people out of your helicopter oh man i don't i have nothing to do with that i didn't kill anybody <laughs> i had the door closed that yeah. I mean, we landed with fewer people, but yeah. you know, like there's that aspect, and then yeah. there's like all the engineers, like wow, I was just, I was just doing the engineering, like well, you were, you were making chips, tainted, to be like, oh, these will fail, so we can pull them to the side to sell them to terrorists, like, why were you doing that? Yeah, I was just doing my job. Like that's your job is to make these faulty, but not faulty. <laughs> like, so, I, I get that they're not great people either, and they, and he even calls them out, like, what's your excuse? But. To shoot him with the the rocket was like, damn. Yeah, that seems a bit. Uh, I think I would have liked it more. Maybe over the line. If like the with AM somehow would have escaped or got sure. on a helicopter and they were taking off with AM, and then they shot him out of the sky. Sure. I feel like I'd have been like, you know what? That's okay. That's that's a bit more understandable. Yeah. But to like make them think that they were getting away, and then just fucking killing them. That's <laughs> a little dark for our heroes. I, I mean, that's like. like uh, Ulysses Claw, right? Yeah, yeah I it's get like, you. Hey, come here, come here. You can go. And he, he runs away, and then he shoots him in the back. <laughs> yeah. I was like, dang, dude. Uh, all right, well, like I, don't, I didn't care as much with that one guy, the AM, who would just like, you know, no, we yeah. watched him just kill all kinds of people, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah. And he and, he, and he's like, I'm just a middleman, you know? It's, sure. It takes a certain kind of individual to pull the trigger, <laughs> and then it's like, well, you're saying that, but like. Maybe you don't pull triggers, but you stabbed the doctor, you killed his receptionist, you killed that one cop at the rest area. Yeah. Like, you're not like you're innocent here. Like, yeah, he slashed so many people's throats yeah. to get here. You're killing everybody you can. To not way. use weapons. Yeah. I'm just a middleman. I'm a businessman. Yeah. So, when he died, I didn't care so much. I think that's why I would have been like, if somehow he would have gotten away, like, I'm like, oh, why'd you tell them they're in the barn? Like, oh, well. He gets away. He gets to the barn. He gets the helicopter pilot. They fly out of there. Sure. So he can escape. And then you rocket him. And I'd be like, yep, sounds good. But I would have arrested. The engineer? I think the engineer would have been a good one to arrest. I think having the know-how and everything behind your case would have yeah. really helped, probably. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's just worried that all of them would have had too much in their back pocket to be able to escape and get out of it or something. So Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, if Lavoy doesn't have enough to get out of it, those guys for sure don't. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know? They said AM would, though, which I get that, too. He probably has a lot of... I mean, sure. he has bear bonds over 65 million, so, I mean, that's yeah. a chunk that he yeah. can just walk around with. I'm sure he's making crazy 
capital on all of his uh, all of his dealings. Mm-hmm. Which yeah, that's just straight money. Which they gave the money to mo- mostly the families. Yeah, and I, I, like it's definitely one of those things where it's like you know this doesn't get back their dad or their brother or their you know, sister, kid, you know any of that yeah. kind of aspect. But at least like they're trying to like do good with this money that was going to be used for bad and give it back to the families that lost these people because they were trying to stop this situation. No, you know? yeah, definitely. So at least it was like a little something and maybe it kind of leads to the idea that their life wasn't in vain. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they were going for this, they were killed because of this, but the rest of the team stopped it. Yeah. I like the one with the, with Russo a lot too. Because like that's one I don't feel like we really saw. No, we right? never met his brother. No. But it was like, it's stuff with for money for my kids. It doesn't make any sense. It says it's for my brother, but my brother died, you know? Yeah. Like, and how did he have this money, too, you know? Yeah. Like, where did this come That's from? That's suspicious. Yeah. Maybe you should have explained where it came from. <laughs> yeah, working on the force, you know? You yeah. probably don't have a couple million or whatever it was they gave, you know? That's, sure. That's the thing, too, is, like, I just... I would just say a couple million, because I have no idea. It could have been, with 65 million, it could have been, like, 5 million to this family, 5 million here, 5 million there. Like, I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, sure. It could have been 10. Because, what, uh, Dixon got some, Neely's dad got some... Um, the, uh, O'Donnell's kids, uh, kids got some, and then you had Russo, and then you had, um, the Swan, uh, donation. Yeah. And then we had, um, uh, the waitress. Yeah, the waitress. was whoever's, like, girlfriend, I think, right? I have to go back and look at the names. That's one of the things that I kind of wish we would have seen more. We only got a little bit of their backstory. Yeah, we didn't get much of them. So Sanchez, Orozco, uh, Lowry died earlier, I believe, right? Like he was the older guy. Yeah, uh, Lowry, he had Lowry died him. earlier. So Franz, Orocha, Orozco, and Sanchez, which I think one was a sister or a wife, one was the waitress, and one was the one with the kids. Yeah. So, I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you know, sixty-five million split eight ways. It's a chunk. Yeah, and that's not counting the bit left that he said he could have given Neely. Sure. And the two thousand dollars he spent for a year's worth of bus just rides. Bus, bus. Uh, it's like a season pass for bus rides. Yeah, basically. Which, <laughs> I love it. Like, at least he got something out of it. But like, what he got still just it's like I don't yeah. have to carry it. I don't have to take it with me. I just traverse the country with my bus rides, and I don't have to ride freight trains or anything. You know. Yeah. I am glad they got Lavoie. Like, he had that whole, like, well, you know, it's a win-win. We'll cover up what I did. Take care of this terrorist thing. I yeah. thought I was doing good. And this way, at least it all comes to light. It does. And, yeah. and I think it makes sense for them to do that, reflecting to what occurred back with um, their team in the military before. Mm-hmm. Of, like, disobeying the the... Orders to like, yeah, just cover all this up, and he's gonna get his promotion, and we don't want to, don't want a dark cloud over this thing, yeah. and make it political and everything. Yeah. But they uncovered this, and they've also shed light on this guy who was like, you know, well, we don't want to mess up his career, <laughs> kind of thing. He's a bad it's guy. Like, but he he was, should have no career. He was under his watchful eye. Yeah. He pushed more towards this little wing project, like. So I'm glad that there's elements there where he can at least be reprimanded or at least go through a, a due process yeah type of thing yeah, absolutely yeah that chopper pilot and scientist got no due process nothing <laughs> nothing summarily executed but I guess like extrajudicial kills. I feel like they were more directly involved with the crime as well right sure like the helicopter pilot like if, if I was just driving a car and you just shoot a guy and kick him out of the car and then the next week, I'm just driving the car, and you shoot the guy, and you kick him out of the car. And the next week, you shoot a guy, and you kick him out of the car. Like, at some point, I should be like, you know what? I don't want to drive the car anymore. <laughs> Maybe I should drive a different car. <laughs> Maybe I should get out of this idea, you Maybe know? I should invite that guy that keeps shooting and kicking people out. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to just being like, you know what? I'm just a driver. I just, yeah. I'm just doing my job, man. Like, it's like, well, you're an accomplice like, now at the very least. Have you ever heard of anyone else ever having the job that you have? <laughs> like, I drive choppers that people shoot and kick people out of <laughs> it's like no that never happens nope Ugh. and then with the engineer and stuff too like 
while Lavoie was pushing for the main thing, and then it, I, I think how it works is that he was pushing for Little Wing, giving them all the access they need for stuff, but then these guys were doing shady business. Yeah. The engineer was the one being like, let me get you the chips you need to sell. <laughs> and it's like, well, you're more directly involved with this. Yeah. Like, you may not have been killing people, but you are directly involved with working with terrorists, I suppose. Like, Yeah. I think, I think Lavoie created a situation in which bad actors could take advantage of not enough supervision on this project, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And then they used that and decided to, you know... To tank the project basically and say, "Oh no, there's way too many chips failing. This isn't viable." But also, we're just going to take all these and sell them to terrorists. So, like, yeah, there's no good. Like, there was nobody from the start trying to do the good thing, mm-hmm. right? No, I mean it was all for profit for the most part, yeah. gain in some way. But that's how a lot of it runs too. <clears throat> Unfortunately, though, I mean in the long run too, Reacher's team, like, they got a profit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what money? <laughs> I'm also kind of glad that there was no, like, undercover bad guy in Me midst, too. Right? Yeah. Like, once once they put Dixon in the chopper, I was like, okay, no. They yeah. wouldn't go this I feel far. like they would have pulled her out by now, you know? Yeah. Like, it doesn't make sense. Once, to- once they caught um, Reacher, I figured they would have been like, okay, I guess you can get off the stretcher now. We don't need you anymore. And that would be like the <gasps> yeah, big reveal like thing. moment. But no, that that didn't happen. I'm glad. Even Swan, who they had as like, this guy's been betraying us and everything too. Yeah, it sucks what went through in it. But I'm God, glad, like, man. considering everything that it went through and how much Reacher believed in him, and then having like the the take a bullet for him scene and yeah. stuff like that. Like, I'm glad that you know Langston is like he had to be the hero. And it's like, well, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that he was good through and through and came here trying to help Marlowe and trying to stop this. And brought the other dudes in mm-hmm. trying to stop this. But, you know, he didn't know where Reacher was. He didn't no. know all the contacts. Maybe he didn't get a hold of O'Donnell because of connections or whatever. Things well, sure. Actually, no. I think in the very beginning they said that there was some stuff, but they had been gone. or Yeah, they, they had, like, missed calls and stuff like yeah. that. It had been a Dixon couple weeks. Dixon had been working undercover with some stuff yeah. and whatnot. And so, I think yeah. the reason Reacher came in was because Neely got a hold of him. Mm-hmm. So, no, it's a... Uh, it's been... I'm glad that their team was still a team. Yeah. They're still a family. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Something that Reacher learned from Fast and Furious. Family. Yeah, right? <laughs> and he'll be learning more because he's not, not done yet out nope. there. So we'll have to see him there, too. Oh, he's going to be huge. Maybe that's part of his motivation for wanting to get just fucking giant <laughs> is to compete yeah. with The Rock. I got to be there with The Rock and Vin Diesel. Yeah. And big. <laughs> and uh, shoot, uh, Aquaman, Jason yeah. Momoa. Momoa. I mean, he's a pretty big guy too. He's not small. Um, I don't know that I have much else really. Uh, I love that they uh, brought back the toothbrush thing again. I'm pretty sure like we had it, and he had his toothbrush when they came through. They broke his toothbrush. And I think we said like he had it like taped together yeah. or something like that. Like it was like, the same damn toothbrush. So just use the. Don't use the whole thing. Just use the end that's that, that's brushy. <laughs> Don't tape it together. It looks more pathetic. I guess, yeah. But, no, I thought this season was pretty good. I mm-hmm. like the last season um, a lot as well. Yeah. I love getting a chance to see, um, dang, Finley. Finley. I like having Finley show back up. Yeah. Um, I kind of hope they continue doing seasons and you can get, like, Returning, he, yeah. Even if it's not like they're a character for the season, but like here's an episode that does have Neely coming and help. Here's an episode where like Dixon does come in and help, yeah. or Finley, or um, Roscoe. Was that the name? Yeah. Like just having the, like your the deputy. Yeah, you're building this world and these connections that he does have and the people he's helped. Mm-hmm. And like I was kind of disappointed we didn't get Roscoe in this, but she yeah. must have been busy. Well, you also you have. Uh, a different relationship thing happening where like sure. that was kind of like that a, could be a bit confusing so it's like you know what let's fo- focus on Dixon and their old unfinished old business. business that <laughs> yeah. they need to do that's true rather than bringing on Roscoe into here because they did mention that and she was like who's that <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but no there was definitely elements where I was worried about O'Donnell until we met his family and then it turned to Dixon where I'm like man she was not there in the very beginning she's been like 
hooking up with him and stuff too. Could be trying to get him to drop his guard or something. I don't know. And but I'm glad it wasn't. I'm glad. Yep, we're good with that. Me too. <sighs> All right. You have anything else? I think the first season did that to us too, didn't it? What? Where we suspected either if Roscoe or Finley Roscoe or bad. Finley were bad. I think we thought of Roscoe more than Finley. I think she had like the old family connection stuff. Yeah. We we're like, uh, I hope not. Well, and just one of those didn't do that. <laughs> just one of those things when you're in an area and it's like, well, all these people are corrupt. Is yeah. everyone on our team good too, yeah. or could any of them be corrupt as well? And you know, you clearly like you got to trust Reacher because well, it's his name on the title, you know. Yeah. Like, well, that's our hero there. And then after last season, I've never doubted Neely. No. All. Like I'm like no, she's not once through and through. And I think now to this season, no, if I, I see, <laughs> I did, did a you? little bit because she's like, where's she get all this money? All of a sudden, <laughs> she's just so successful. Um. And now I think after this season, if Dixon or O'Donnell show up at any point, I'm like, you know what? I feel like they, they went, yeah, they're, they're they went good. through. I saw what they went through. I have no doubt that they're going to be good they're solid. with Reacher side. So, yeah, but, twenty about like twenty or thirty minutes maybe. I was like, I don't know about Neely maybe, <laughs> but no, she's good. No, no, and I, like it's going to suck now because there's going to be whatever the wait until they do a season three. If they're going to do a season three. We luckily started season one around the time of season two, so we got to kind of almost just keep rolling through it. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to have a bigger gap. Yeah. Which is too bad, but... But now, if there's another season that comes out and you guys want us to react to it, make sure you guys let us know. Yeah. Um, especially if you check out your recommendations over on blindweb.com. If you mm. just make an account, you can just change and make up recommendations that you want from movies and TV shows. Um, but uh, now this is one that Calvin and I picked up just because... We like Alan, and yeah. uh, it well, sounded, Alan. sounded like a, a cool idea, a cool like show, and uh, actually I'm glad that we watched it. It was Me a lot too. of fun. It was a blast. It was great. It was <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching Reacher with us. We hope you have enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe because we have new shows, movies, all kinds of stuff that we watch every day of the week. And uh, if you want more than just what's here on YouTube, there is full-length and early access for pretty much everything we do over at blindwave.com. And as mentioned before, update your recommendations so we have mm -hmm. ideas of things you want us to watch in the future. It's the best way to let us know Indeed. what we should watch.